Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Mike, 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 what day is it today? Hump day, hump day. Good morning. I hope you all are doing well and having a, a good week. Um, after last week's hump day rendition, a lot of people said, you should do that once a week. So here it is. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. And so here is another hump day rendition. This week, we are going to be looking at a text that uh, follows the, the resurrection story from the, from the Gospel of John. Um, it's uh, chapter 20, verses 19 uh, through 31. Listen for the word of the Lord. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came into the house. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the text that is going to be used this week for a Presbytery-wide worship service in which I had a small part in that, and uh, we're going to air that on Sunday. And uh, so we're going to do a few things different this week. We're going to, at 10 o'clock, I'm going to send out a link um, which will be on uh, your email, and we're going to try and do a Zoom fellowship, which I thought would be real interesting. Um, we've never tried that. Some churches around have and said it's been very successful, and that way we have an opportunity to see each other. So I hope that you will look for the email. I will send it uh, later today, and then I will also send it on Sunday as a reminder. Um, this text is one that's very interesting because Jesus tells Thomas, Blessed are those who have not seen and have yet come to believe. It's a reflection of the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes that Jesus preached from the Sermon on the Mount, in which he turned the world upside down. Our world is upside down right now. And as we go through these days and we wonder, when will things ever get back to normal? Maybe they won't. But maybe that's okay. Maybe God is doing a new thing among us. Maybe we are doing what best we can do by staying in, protecting one another, serving one another in the name of love. Let us pray. God, you give us so many wonderful and beautiful things. And we also wonder, Lord, when this thing will change, when we'll be able to not have to stay at home, gather again and worship you together. But in the meantime, Lord, we know that you're with us, walking beside us, carrying us when we need it carried, lifting us up in the times when we find despair. Bless those who are staying in. Bless those who are doing what they're supposed to do for the love of their neighbor. And may we grow in your love through all of this. We pray these things in the name of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. See you again soon, folks. Bye-bye.